Hello everyone and welcome back. Um, I just finished working on my uh, snowblower. So I reassemble all uh, the parts from uh, the augers. Um, one important thing about this is when you reassemble those, uh, you should put uh, a little film of grease in there so that it doesn't uh, get jammed. And of course, uh, those are supposed to be shear bolts, but uh, well, I don't have shear bolts with me, so I just put those pins on. So I'm probably gonna get some uh, critics for that, but uh, this is uh, how I run that old snowblower, and it actually works fine. So um, I don't know if you can see it, but I did put some uh, reinforcement. Did some, did some reinforcement to those uh, propellers here uh, so I welded a, a plate of steel on the side there so that it doesn't uh, bend again and uh, I also had to change uh, one of the tensioner here so I replaced this pulley because it was uh, worn out and I also replaced the main belt here for the front auger. Uh, the old one had a flat spot in it and it started to uh, actually shake a lot. Uh, it's my, I don't know if you can see it, but right here there's a brake. And because my brake is also uh, a bit uh, worn out, this uh, plate of metal is actually contacting the uh, it's making uh, contact with the surface of the pulley here so there's a, a bit of a metallic uh, sound going out of it so I installed my new engine uh, the new engine uh, adapts perfectly to the snowblower the only modification I had to make was because the old engine was a 10 horsepower um, it was a one inch shaft, so the pulley was one inch, and the new engine only have a, a three quarter shaft, three quarter of an inch shaft. So I had to make a bushing, and uh, I know that you can actually buy those uh, a sleeves for that already made, but I just make one and uh, I had to make uh, a kiwi for it too <coughs> and the other year, the other modification I did is I used to have only one bolt on each side to hold the snowblower and the nut on the other side was getting a bit stripped out so um, what I did is I uh, cut the old nut weld a new one and I punch another hole so I can have actually two bolts on each side uh, that will make my snowblower a little bit stronger because it was uh, tilting like that all the time so uh, that wasn't too good so in order to put the new engine on um, really simple really you have two bolts on the front here and four bolts on the base of the engine and uh, I don't know if you can see it but <coughs> the base of this snowblower is uh, there's already holes in it to adapt many kind of engines so that's why I was able to uh, switch from a 10 horsepower to a 6.5 horsepower and the last engine that was on it was an 8 horsepower so uh, you know you can fit pretty much every uh, every engine on this no problem so I'm just gonna start it for you and uh, I'm quite pleased with this engine uh, hopefully it will start just as good as easy in the winter than it starts now because it's really easy to start. Oops.
there we go so it's fixed <coughs> so hopefully that should last me a couple of winter so it takes a lot for watching